about four in the morning, I wake up to my car shaking, right? I hear voices outside, two crackheads are arguing about how they can't get the locks off. They got the lock cut, but my straps on the bike are so intense that they cannot get it off. So the whole car is shaking and you're, you wake up. Like, I'm from Chicago, it's a really rough city, right? I'm used to that kind of shit. But I jumped out, I have a Rambo knife. Do you want to see it? Can I show that? Pocket party. There they are. What's up, man? How are you, Houston? I'm good. How are What's you? What's going on, Corey? Hey, All right. So I wanted to talk initially to Houston because I found out that you. Well, first of all, I, I used to see you here at the Ha Ha Comedy Club right here. Right. I'm and then I table. saw you hosting on stage. Yes. Sir. And I found out you guys are both comedians, which is really cool. And I found out that you live in your car. Yes. So you moved here from Chicago to follow your dream to live in LA and you're living in your car. And I wanted to ask you about this last night and you said, can we do it tomorrow? Because somebody, an OG, taught you how to do this. Yes, I had to speak with Corey. Hi, how are you guys doing? I've also done this. I went through the full gamut, lived in my car for a full year in 2018, finally got housing last year. So learned a lot of tips for the trade. Wow, how long did you live in your car? About a year. Wow, and, and how long have you uh, have you lived I'm in your car? Coming up on six months. Six months. Wow. Six months sentence. <laughs> now, did you plan this when you were in Chicago? Yeah. And what did you do to prepare for it? I got a Jeep, so I can actually sleep in it. Cause some people sleep in like Scions and some small ass cars, but you gotta have space. If you're gonna make it work, you know. I don't yeah. have a Winnebago like I wanted, but it's also flex fuel, E85 flex fuel. Because it's two dollars cheaper than your normal gas. Nice. And and what did you do to prepare to live in your car? Oh, I bought a van. Yeah, I just took the back seats out of a van, put a cot in the back of it, used a gorilla case for all my actual belongings, put it beside there, kind of like a shelving. Put all my clothing underneath the uh, the cot, and I put put cardboard and I spray painted the outside of the cardboard so that it would be black. And yeah, that's about it. Wow, and what did you do? You said it gets really hot in the car yeah, sometimes. Yeah, so I had a similar thing. I didn't know him when I first moved here, obviously. I didn't know I should have got a van with a cot, right? So I got an air mattress. And then if you want to come with me here, a little bit of a tour of the air from here. A little bit of a tour, okay, all right. So, these, so you got sun shields. These are custom made, okay, I made these, right? Yeah. You want to see it? The sun reflector goes on one side, and the other side you have a black Oh, screen. wow. Right? Okay. So those on all the windows. I have a frontal wow. one as well. So that's not something a person just buys at Walmart. That's something you actually... I had to make. I had to go to every Marshalls, Ross, Target, and the whole city of Los Angeles to put it all together. Trial and error. That all didn't work. You know what I mean? Yeah. You got to have a cooler, ice, water, constantly, all the time. Do you want one? I can give you one right now if you're thirsty. Okay. Nice. All right, so the blackout helps with the idea of being able to black out most of the window with still letting the window be down and air come through and not people be able to see what you're doing in there, right? Some dirty business sometimes, right? But <laughs> dirty business. The back that we're here, I'll show you a little bit, right? Is that like limo tint, like a limousine tint? So this is, if you anyone works in film, this is called uh, black wrap. It's, uh, yeah. it's like a black tin foil, and I allow that to keep all the black and have sun, because before, I just had this which is the same thing as a sun protector and it became an oh, wow. oven it became yeah. an oven between it as opposed to just blacking it out completely so this is a nice little flat deal here oh have that's it good all layered out a bunch of different times i have and uh, let me ask you about this what about like parking where do you where does a person park when you do this well i'm blessed to be right outside the haha -ha, very nice spot from four to about one in the morning and then you want to try to find a 24-hour gym somewhere that has some security as well and a lot of shade you yeah. park on the north side so you park on the east side of that street, as the sun comes up and over, you get to see later. until pretty yeah. late. That's on the Master Corey talking. Yeah, Before wait. I used to park on the street right behind here, and when I first moved here, I had a bike rack on the back. Yeah. I never sleep with a bike rack on the back, because the crackheads jump in there, and they try to rob me. Oh yeah, tell me about that story. What was so, happening? That was like day six. Corey. Day six. Corey was like, hey man, you want to not park in this neighborhood, you want to go somewhere outside of here? And it was like 2 in the morning after the show, I was like, it's fine. It's only going to be a couple hours, so it's sun out. Went two blocks over on a dead-end street park there. About 4 in the morning, I wake up to my car shaking, right? I hear voices outside. Two crackheads are arguing about how they can't get the locks off. They got the lock cut, and my straps on the bike are so intense that they cannot get it off. So the whole car is shaking, and you're, you wake up. Like, I'm from Chicago. It's a pretty rough city, right? I'm used to that kind of shit. But I jumped out. I have a Rambo knife. Do you want to see it? Can I show that? I have a baseball bat. Show us in a little bit. Yeah. All right, cool. I have some weapons in the, in the yeah. vehicle. Yeah. So finish the story. Uh, so you're protection. asleep. Yeah. So then I jump out and I, I try to use the panic button. And the panic button won't work inside the car. 
So I jump out of the car and I see them and they start running because I'm naked and just my red underwear and I have a Rambo knife and a baseball bat that I'm wielding running down the street. Wow. Did you have any weapons when you slept in the car? No. 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 Yeah. You're not from Jeez. Chicago though. Where are you from? Yeah, I'm from Minnesota. Oh yeah, that's yeah. good, man. You know, you, did you start singing some Prince? <laughs> yeah. No, I did, I did dubs cry. I, yeah. I had a vehicle that no one would look at and want to break into. I didn't have anything on the outside of it. It's a maroon van, a minivan. Nice. <laughs> nice. What? Let me ask you a question. What about the panic button? Does that, is that just a horn honking? Yeah. So it should. Like, if I took my panic button. Ready? That's what yeah. Should have done. Alright, let's see what. It, crackheads are breaking in. Oh yeah. What That's good. That happened. Yeah. Unlock. And you're like, what is that? And then I jump out. I'm covered in tattoos, right? I've do that been, again. Do that again. I'm covered in tattoos. I got all this shit. You want to see this crackhead running after Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Crazy. They're like. Let me get my Rambo knife and the gun. Oh, yeah. Dog. All right. You ready? Let's see some weapons. You, you ready to show weapons? us? Let's see the all right. Let's do it. Let's see the weapons. Now we're ready. Can I get dark here? Because it's going to get pretty dark. No, no, go, go. You're part of our club, bro. All right. Good. All right. Well. All right. Cool. There's. Uh, what happened? Well, he said I couldn't pull them out, obviously. Oh, well, we need to have weapons in front of the club. I know, I'm not trying it's, to, but it's... Well, let's, let's sneak a peek at the weapons. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can, pull, you can pull out the weapons. They're legal. They're legal weapons. All right, maybe don't pull them out. Just kind of like... All right, all right, we get the idea. Look at that. Oh, yeah, oh, shit, so you came out with that. And then a baseball bat. Wow, now baseball bats are legal. No, they have to have softball. What? So that's... Wait, that's legal or illegal? Well, we don't know. Wait. But you can't. A person can't have a baseball bat. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, you can. They have yeah. a softball too, in case they stomp you. But a good thing about a wooden bat, you can burn it. Oh, interesting. Thank you. That's a good joke. Did you ever carry softballs or a baseball or a glove? No. No. Okay. <laughs> Maybe you parked in better neighborhoods. Well, I've parked clean, in though, different streets. Make yeah. sure you're always paying for your. Uh, Tag. For your tags and stuff, yeah. Tow your car, and then I can't afford to get it out of there. So yeah, and I'm really homeless. You and your claw. yeah. I'm so not right, a real homeless person. Okay? So, so right now you're living in your car and you've yes, done it for six I chose months. To do and, yeah. this. It's part of the comedy aspect. It's part of what you do. It's culture. Right? Yeah. I wanted to be available to the club all the time. It worked out. I'm very helpful. I'm That's trying good. to get a job. Anyone has a roommate, one for free. I'm a nice guy. Yeah. I'm and really and how many how many days a week do you do you spend indoors? Like do you. You ever get a hotel? Or are you just like? So I've had some very uh, nice people give me hotel rooms that you know are super happy for me that I'm trying to achieve my goal. And That's really good. Want me to be able to shower and take care of myself and pay for me. Nice man. If I had more questions, I'd ask you. These this is great. Okay. I think they're about ready well, to kick I, us actually, out. It's quite cozy as long as you have fans and stuff yeah. like that going. So if you all want to be a comedian, it's part of it. Don't feel bad. Yeah. Every great comedian and, did it. It's going to be in my book. So. And how long is the goal to do this? Because you're uh, saving money every month, sure. right? So I'm, I'm hoping by the end of the year I should be in a spot where I can make money from comedy as well, not to have to worry about living in my car so much. Yeah, but I that's know how cool. to do it. Yeah, you know how to do it, right? So you're saving money every month, I guess. You no, know I did it honestly. Yeah. My mom told me that Tiffany Haddish slept in her car. She goes, you know what? She went after her goal. She did it. Kevin Hart discovered her. He took care of her. That took real, real guts. Yeah. Do you have that? And I said, you know what? I live in my car right now. And she couldn't believe it. But now oh. she can't sleep at night. So, yeah. but I do it. I do it That's for cool. I do it for this guy. Nice. You need to delete the part where he's in front of the haha. All right. And you know what? Here, I got a plan. This is the owner. Hey. From now on, let's get on film. You're going to start parking in his driveway. Oh. <laughs> Please get a dog at home. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome, man. Yeah. So, follow me, Houston.tv, so I don't live in my car anymore. It needs to be adopted. That'd be you awesome. got it, man. I, I hope you make it big and. Thank and you. Uh, and then, uh, you know, we'll look back at this and be like, Hell remember yeah. that time that exactly. I was... Yeah, dude. Exactly. All right, man. Keep, keep following right. your dreams. Keep working on your stuff. And, and, and like I said, you're, the one thing I noticed about your set, the one set I saw you do, it was interesting. I was I was glued to my seat watching you. Oh, you know what I mean? Great storyteller. So yeah. tune in. Yeah. All right, buddy. Thank you thank so you much, man. Peace Take out. it easy. Stay hard. Bye. Your house. <laughs> Wait, say that part again. What'd you say? I'm gonna tow his house. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can't stay. You. Know, I don't care where you go, but you can't stay here. Go park that somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> See you, buddy. See you, man. Do you live in a car? No. 
I don't. I live in my own spot, man. I always, I have a nine to five that I pay right, guys, for. It's too Blake much Blake's money. Blake's too much. Too guys, much. how much do you pay for rent? I pay fourteen hundred. How many bedrooms? I have a studio. It's a studio by myself. Wow, what city? I live in NoHo. No NoHo, fourteen hundred bucks. Yeah. All right, man. Take it easy, buddy. <laughs> Love. Thank you for watching. Now, please subscribe and ring that notification bell.